Oh, I meant to include this, uh, but I'll do it as a separate video. On, uh, if you're looking for, uh, like survival manuals and things like that, and field manuals and technical manuals, if you go on, uh, eBay, you'll find these sellers that sell these collections. I'll show you some examples of what I bought, right? And this is if you're trying to have, like, a survival laptop or a, a deployment laptop or, uh, uh, like a female laptop or something kind of just like a a data unit that you can carry with like a portable library that's ruggedized right this is some of the stuff you can get you can download all these offline but it's easier much easier to pay some money and get the actual huge collections so these this is like a, all the modern field manuals of the US Army on disc DVD disc this is um, graphic training aids, like just about all of them on DVD or CD, right? Um, technical bulletins on DVD. Twenty-two thousand survival and military manuals. Disc one. Disc three. Disc four. Um, this is where I bought the uh, manuals from. Everything for less store. I bought the 22,000 survival manuals of a different seller. Uh, this is just some more of that. Uh, tech manuals. More tech manuals. Tech manuals. Tech manuals have to do with equipment. Field manuals have to do with like men and uh, women, as far as I know in the field. Um, kind of field craft and stuff. Uh, just more. This this goes on. It looks like I'm missing a disc. I'll have to find where that went. But anyway, what I did was I put the contents of these onto a hard drive, and then I got the the disc as a backup. But it gives you some ideas what the hell you'd put on one of these. And the Navy, and the Air Force, and the Marine Corps, and I'm sure the Coast Guard have their manuals and things you put on there. Uh, NASA has theirs, uh, Department of Energy, um, uh, NOAA, all the, all the different agencies and stuff, they've got manuals that are digitized in PDF form, and then you load it up on one of these units, and you have a portable library that's recognized. And uh, my goal probably in a different video I'll get into it, is uh, having just about every how-to book and and uh, kind of a uh, uh, guides and all kinds of good stuff on these. That way if I gotta uh, find myself in the middle of some hellhole, uh, crazy ass country, or uh, a hurricane or a Katrina or or some other crazy 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 situation I'll be able to come across most equipment that the military uses or civilians use and be able to look it up figure out how to use it have a manual on it so that is the goal here another good thing is put all your personal data uh, on a on a maybe a encrypted file or whatever put on these two so you have uh, ID and things if you need it um, but there's whole scenarios you can plan for but this is just a small little tidbit little taste of uh, ideas you can do and I hope this helps you out so what your goals is the truth be told I'll probably never ever read all these I don't have enough time in my life but uh, even if I use it a few times or help others uh, it's that much more valuable so, uh, you can get tech mails and things that date back to like Vietnam, the Korean War, World War II, World War I, stuff like that if you want to go really far back. I don't have those yet, but my goal is to have every tech manual and field manual in, that the U.S. military and other militaries too uh, put out. So it would be a single source record um, archive uh, backed up and everything like that. So. Okay, I hope this gives you some ideas. Uh, you 
You take care. Have a good uh, 2012.